We have seen them in breathtaking swimsuits and stunning evening gowns, and now they will be exposing their beautiful minds. Good. <laughs> it's time for the final question. Now, prior to the show, we asked all of the contestants to make up a final question. Minutes ago, we polled the ones written by the top five and the current Miss Universe. So, ladies, let's relax. <laughs> yeah. You will have 30 seconds, ladies, before you hear this bell. And once again, we're going to be getting some help from our interpreters when we need it. We begin with Switzerland. Come on over. Reach in, grab one, hand it over. This question comes from USA. What is your biggest fear? Um, my biggest fear is to lose my family because I think in the world there is nothing more important than family. So. Thank you. Thank you, Switzerland. Okay, next up, we have Paraguay. Reach into the bowl and hand me a question. I didn't wear my heels today. Okay, the question comes from Switzerland. What values would you like to teach your children? La pregunta la hizo la señorita de Suiza. Y la pregunta es, ¿qué valores quisieras tú inculcar en tus hijos? O sea, el valor importante que toda familia debe inculcar a sus hijos, lo que hace mi familia conmigo y con todas mis hermanas, el respeto, es mantener siempre la igualdad, tratar siempre de mantener la igualdad de todo. The greatest value that everybody should teach their children is exactly what my family does with me. It's to love everybody as equals and to love everyone. Thank you. Paraguay, thank you very much. Japan, come on over. Grab a question. Find a good one. This question comes from Paraguay. If you had the opportunity to change something in the history of humanity, what would you change and why? Paraguay からの質問ですけれども、人間の歴史の中で何か変えることができるとしたらどんなことを変えたいですか？男性と女性にはそんなに差はないと思っています。ただ一つ差があるとすれば。腕力、暴力的な腕力、女性に対する暴力的な搾取、それをなくすことができれば、もう少し素敵な世の中になると思います。I believe there is not so much difference between man and woman. Only biggest difference will be the physical power of a man, and sometimes man exploit his power. And if he can't really relinquish that kind of the Uh, violence and also uh, the kind of exploitation, and the world will be better. Thank you very much. Thank you. Come on over, USA. Thank you very much, Japan. Come on down, USA. I wasn't going to pick it for you, just fixing it. Reach in and hand me your question, please. Thank you. Okay, the question comes from Puerto Rico. What would you say it's one of your major flaws? One of my major flaws is I tend to carry my heart on my shoulder, if you haven't noticed by excited or how excited I've been getting, but um, my heart breaks very easily for people. I'm a caregiver, so if I ever see any kind of drama, if I ever see anyone upset or sad, I feel like it's, it's up on me, it's up on my shoulders to make them feel better. So you'll see me in a sad mood every now and then because I'm constantly trying to make people feel better, but um, I need to work on that, but it keeps me humble. USA, thank you very much. Thank you so much, USA. Puerto Rico, come on over. You have two questions left in there. Pull one out and hand me the one you think is the one you want. <laughs> there it is. This question comes from the reigning Miss Universe. What is your definition of success? Esta pregunta la ha hecho la Miss Universo de este año. Y la pregunta es, ¿cuál es tu definición del éxito? Eh, para mí la palabra éxito es la satisfacción de un ser humano cuando alcanza todas sus metas. El sentirse que ha alcanzado todo lo que ha logrado, todo lo que to ha me, trabajado. Satisfaction is when the human being has really fulfilled all of his or her goals and has realized all the work that they have done. 
sin importar los obstáculos que se encuentren, porque los obstáculos son una prueba para uno eh, saber que uno puede seguir hacia adelante y que uno es fuerte y que uno tiene todas esas cualidades para poder vencerlo. Notwithstanding whatever obstacles they may run across, because obstacles are something that make you strong and make you know you do have those qualities to succeed. Puerto Rico, thank you very much. Thank you, Puerto Rico. And thank you to all the ladies. A lot of pressure there. Carson and Shani, how do you think they did? Oh wow. Gosh. I was so spellbound by Miss Paraguay's earrings. I didn't even listen to her answer. They were as big as a Toyota but Corolla. Let's talk about answers. Japan's answer. Sweet. Brilliant. And she speaks Strong. so many different languages. I know. And she pulled English out in her first question as a wild card. And she speaks French and Spanish and obviously Japanese. And I also love Miss Puerto Rico. Yes. Again, I have to confess, I was looking beautiful. at her dress, I was kind of mesmerized. You wanted to borrow it, is what you wanted then to I do. Then I listened to the answer, and I thought, she's my favorite, I have the Latino fever. Yeah. You know, uh, USA did a good job as well. I liked her comment earlier about Lake Tahoe. Well, now that she's Miss USA, hopefully she can see more she of the world there. than Lake Tahoe. <laughs> well, you know what they say, in Hollywood, you're only as good as your last gift bag. That's true. And the one the winner gets tonight is to dye your hair for. Check out what the beauty extraordinaire gets. And later, I'd love to see her try and fit it all in her suitcase. That's hard.